Hello everybody, this is going to be my uh, Starfield texture uh, modding tutorial. It's going to be very simple, very easy to do. I'm kind of new to this whole video making thing, so uh, please excuse any uh, anything that happens. I'm just, somebody asked for this, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download the Bethesda Archive Extractor. I'm going to have it linked in the in the description, you're going to download this, do manual download, and it will, you'll extract the file and you'll have this. You're going to run this uh, BAE.exe, and then you're going to find the location. Let me pull this up. You're going to go to where I'm on Xbox because I'm cheapskating it and pay for Starfield. But it'd be in your Steam location, wherever you have it, wherever you bought it from. You're going to go find your star field. And what you're looking for is you're looking for the data folder. And for this, since we're doing, uh, since we're doing textures, we're going to find the textures here. Highlight all those, and you're going to drag and drop them to here. And then you can go through and find, like, I don't want any of this because I'm not doing any actors. So we're not going to do those two. Close. I want to, so I want to do like my close. So I'm just going to unclick all that and just have close selected. You're going to go through all of these and you're going to hit extract. And then it'll tell you, it'll pull you up to the BA folder. And then I made a new folder for me for Starfield. And you're just going to click on that and then select folder. I'm not going to do that because I already extracted it. It usually takes a minute depending on how many files you click. Just be careful of this because it will take up a lot of storage space doing this, depending on how many files you choose to extract and what all you choose to you want to do it, just, it takes up a lot of space especially geometries and stuff like that and meshes so it's like a lot of uh, space all right so once you have that the you get to click on it i see i already have meshes and textures we're gonna go to textures close and then uh for the mod I some of my requests that they wanted to out update the outfit that I have for my Mantis Super Placer. So you're going to go to, you're going to find the the outfit. This is all the clothes. You're going to find the one you want to edit, or if it's weapons or anything like that, you're going to find it. You're going to open it up. And then the second, the program I use, you can use any program like um, Photoshop. I know some people use uh, GIMP. I personally use Paint because it's free, paint.net because it's free. And it uh, you're able to, uh, save it as a certain file that is used for Starfield. So let me go. So with Star, uh, Starfield file, there's a couple different versions for each texture. So we go to my textures. So there's multiple types. You got like your main color, this is what adds the colors to it. And you got masks that add different, uh, that block out certain parts of it to add like different textures to the actual like color and stuff like that. So you got like your masks and then you got metal, which adds like a metal effect to the certain parts. Your normal, which it has, is like a height map pretty much from my understanding. And then rough, I'm not, I think that's also something to do with textures. I'm not too entirely sure, but we're just, I'm, for right now, I'm just going to show you doing colors because that's, the most of what I know. I'm not too well versed on these other types. And you gotta, there's different things you gotta do with these and how you edit them and save them. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you how to do colors. So we're gonna open up this jacket here that we have. And then from here, you can do like, you can like draw, write stuff. Say if you just wanna like write stuff on or something like that. Or if you wanted to, uh, let's do a recolor. So like you can use a magic wand or any sort of thing to like select it. And you can like five tunes this is for paint.net, which is what I use. So let's just, I'm going to do this very, very rough. Cause I don't feel like sitting here for 30 minutes actually trying to change stuff. But so I highlighted that. And then if I want to, there's different ways to do it. You can do like black and white, and then you can do, uh, very simple. Just do that. It's very rough right now, I know, but this is just as quick and easy. Then once you have that, we can go into File, Save As. 
And then usually I recommend making a new folder in your picture center that has like all your textures that you're working on. So let's just do it in this one. You get to save it. And then if you, for anything, because there are different types of files. This is a color file. So it's going to be saved as a BC7. As long as it has the sRGB, I th I'm pretty sure I'm not super uh, knowledgeable about this. This is just some looking up on like Reddit and stuff, trying to figure out and doing some testing for paint.net uh, sRGB B7 BC7 is what you want to save it as. So once you do that, you got it saved. I have it in. Let's go to my textures. It's in the second one. So there it is. So what you're going to do then is you're going to come to uh, where I don't know how it is on Steam, but on Game Pass, you're going to come to Starfield in your document, my games, data, and then textures. You should probably won't have a textures, but if you make a texture, you put there. You got to make one for clothes. And then you got to name it the same thing as what the folder was that you pulled the uh, texture from. So since this is the outfit Aquila security, you have to name it that. And then you're going to copy and paste it into that folder. And it's just going to replace it. If it's not, if it's already in there, it's already had like from modding, from doing my own texture work. Then from there, we're going to launch Starfield. So if you were interested in using the program that I use to edit textures, I'm going to show you how to download that real quick. I'm going to have it linked in the description. So just click on that. And once you get to the paint.net website, you're going to click on this get it now uh, link. And then you have two options here. One's going to take you to the Microsoft Store, which is a paid version of it. It is $10. I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. I just use the free version because I'm cheap. So you're going to click on this download link right here. And then you're going to click on this right here. And then it should download. And then once you have it download, you're going to go to your downloads. You're going to extract it. And then you're going to run the install. But for that, that's pretty much everything. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.